It's, um, it's a little bit tricky because this example app uh, is a free app and you can't run back in workflows. But what you want to do, and so in order to make this example work, I have to have privacy rules which aren't productive, which, which mean the token is exposed and that is, you don't want to do that. So this is what you need to do to have them have a secure token. In your bubble app, uh, where I'm, I'm storing my tokens in this table here, in the privacy rules, uh, the reason I am exposing are like this, everyone else nothing, um, and the reason I'm exposing the expire state in search is simply because in this app I want to be able to show the user uh, when the uh, token expires. If I didn't need to do that, I wouldn't have these ticked. Um, and then what that means is when my workflows run, and I did it on number six here, I go to number six. So in button number six here, if I go into here, I've got schedule API workflow append a row. So that is a back-end workflow. And you can see here's the problem. This access is only accessible accessible with the Bubble API scheduler. And I need to upgrade the plan. But this would work if I had a uh, paid-for plan. So I've got this box here, tick, ignore privacy rules when running the workflow. So that means when this runs, it will be able to it, it will ignore this stuff here. Uh, so it will be able to read the access token. So in my backend workflow, so in that workflow, we come here, we we'll go into the backend workflow, and this is what you would do for all of your workflows. You would uh, create a backend workflow. You don't want to expose it as public, and you would ignore privacy rules, and then you pass in whatever the values are that make sense in this one here. So here's, this is the actual plugin. This is where it's grabbing the token from the database and grabbing the sheet ID. So this, because of the ignore privacy rules, these will work. And this is a uh, help em, um, method, a custom workflow here, custom action. And it basically, I've called it update token if expired. And what it does is it searches the tokens, and if it's expired, it will update the token. So it's a helper method. So when this runs, if it's expired, it'll get a new token, and then it will run and it will append in the um, append in the do do uh, invoke the plugin action. And in this case, I've also writing writing the debug into a table so that I can see that it's working by inspecting the table. Otherwise, you because in these other examples, it's handy to do it this way because we can set the states on the UI and, and quickly see if it's working or not. But for production setup, you want to use backend workflows like this, schedule API on a workflow, and ignore privacy rules. So that's how to set up um, privacy rules.